Hi everyone, Petra here with Petra's Creative Plans. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to film the a quick flip through and setup of my lettering planner. So let's get started. All right, everyone. So I'm going to be using this planner um, to follow along with Judy's um, lettering challenge at JBL Crafts. I will link her channel up in the corner at the end of this video. Definitely check her out. Um, I am very much going to be inspired by how she's doing this. She's using the big planner. I have the classic size. Um, so anyways, I'm taking a lot of inspiration from her as far as some decorating ideas because you want to decorate without taking up too much room. Um, as well as she has these um, that she posts every month on her Instagram and Facebook. And so I've gone ahead and printed them out and cut them down to size and then punched them. And so this tells you the different strokes to practice every day of the month. And it goes on throughout the whole year. So it's a really great setup that she's got going with this challenge. Again, definitely check out her channel. You can also check her out on Instagram at JBL Crafts, and I will put that in the description down below. Okay, so let's get started with this planner. All right, so the cover is beautiful. It says, share a kind word today, and there's nice gold foil accents on it. It comes with rose gold metal discs. I did purchase this with the
So what I am going to do, because I am behind, I mean, we're halfway through February, I am going to get caught up. Um, so in the monthly here, in the monthly calendar, I am going to put the lesson plan in. And then what I will do is I will go through here and I will put in what they are. Now, let's pull out the pages for the first week and I will show you how I am going to decorate this. So the stickers that I'm going to use to decorate this, I have pulled out some washi tape and I'm going to be using these stickers for this week. And then I have some little bullet points that I've made so I'll be using probably these brown ones here and I'll just put one down and underneath the day of the week and the number I'm just going to write out what the lesson for that um, day is. Now my decorating, I am totally going to um, take inspiration from how Judy has done hers because I absolutely love it. Uh, she's done something that I haven't really seen other people do, and that is she takes the washi tape down this edge of the paper, and it just really gives it a beautiful finished look, especially when you're dealing with a um, setup like this where you don't really want to take up your writing space because you want it to be as functional as possible. So I'm going to take this green and gold striped washi tape and I'm just going to place it right down the edge of the paper. So thank you very much Judy for that idea. I'm sure that there's probably other people who have done this as well but I haven't seen it so We will trim that off. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Like already, it just it adds so much to the page, in my opinion. Okay. And I am going to need some little scissors. So I've got some scissors here, which might be easier than using that blade. Okay, so we've got that done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these stickers and I'm going to put them down the spine and along the top. And that's basically exactly how Judy has been doing it. I just, I'm totally copying that idea because I think it's a fabulous way to get some design elements in without taking up the space for practicing. So Judy, I hope you don't mind that I am definitely using your ideas, but they're fabulous. So I hope you take it as a compliment because that's exactly what it is. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of put these down. I don't want them going over though, so because I have the classic size, I definitely want to keep as much space as possible for my practice. So these ones I'm going to take off, and I'm going to come back and use them just to fill in some of these little spaces here. And that's a good opportunity to not even not waste any of the sticker. Okay, let's keep going here. 
I like this one, so I think this one I want to kind of come in off the top like that. And again, this little point here I'm going to take off. <clears throat> I didn't quite cut that enough. So we will go like that. Try again. There we are. And this can come down here. Okay. And I, this is pretty big, so I am going to cut this. And we're just going to bring some of it down like that. Bring in a couple of these smaller leaves. So it is going to be a challenge to find little stickers that will work for decorating like this. So I have actually, a little sneak peek, I have made some of my own floral stickers to use. Um, so I have these ones, I've got some different little daisies, some roses, orange and yellows. Ooh, I love these ones. So yeah, I'm working on making some of my own stickers to use that are sized a little bit better for this. Um, so that's a little sneak peek. Let's flip this over and separate these two pages. So I'm just cutting down the middle here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to film every single week of January and February as I'm catching up. What I will do though is <clears throat> once I have completed January, I will come back and I will do an after the pen and show you guys how I decorated it and how it looks with the um, practices completed. And then everybody can have a chance to see kind of what the end, end result will be. And then same thing uh, with February, I can come back in and I can show you guys what February ends up looking like. This one, just along there. Little itty bitty piece can come in down there. Okay, we're just about done here. One there. I want to get a little bit more of this in, so I'm going to definitely bring this in kind of like that. Let's trim those two pieces off. Okay, there we go, I love it. It's very simple, but I like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and repunch this quickly. I've got my punch here. I'll do both pages at once.
Hopefully it is lined up right. Sometimes get a little nervous when I do this. Okay, we've got it repunched. All right, perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to take a look at the lesson plan. So I've got it right here and I'm going to pull out some of these little bullet points. And I'm just going to put one beside each of these here. That's all I need. We don't need that last one. Okay, so I've got those there. And then now I'm just going to come in with a pen. And I'm going to mark in, so Monday the 27th, we're practicing upstrokes. The 28th are downstrokes. The 29th is up, then down. And as I said, I will link um, Judy's YouTube channel. She has videos on every, every week showing exactly how to do the different strokes, how to shape the different letters, how to connect them in the different words, all those things. It's fabulous. Definitely go check it out. And you don't need this planner to follow along. You can use any paper. Okay, and then the 30th, we are up curve down. And the 31st, we are down curve up. The first is a wave drill. And the second is the letter O. Okay. So I'm going to be using for, for my lettering, um, I'm going to be using the brush pens that I currently have in my collection. So my very first one, which will be my finest, will be a Monami Plus Pen 3000. It is a very, very fine, tiny tip. Um, I have, this is what the package looks like. So I have 36 different colors to choose from. So that'll be my first pen. And I'll do this one on the first row where there's the least space all the time because it is the tiniest pen. Um, okay, so that'll be the first pen I use. Then the next pen that I use is going to be my Tombow Fudenosuke. For this particular spread, I am choosing brown. Again, these are a small um, hard tip brush pen. This is slightly larger than the Monami. And then after that, I have the Pentel um, Touch Sign Pens. Okay, and these again are slightly bigger, but still a small tip pen. And then my very last one, the last row is going to be a challenge because I want to use my dual tip Tombos. These typically write really big, but I want to challenge myself to try to practice to get it into this size. Okay, so I've chosen a color that I think will be complementary to the design on this page for that. So um, 
as I said, when I'm done, I will come back and I will do a flip through of January. And then as I've caught up to where the challenge is at, then I can do a weekly video um, where I actually show you guys myself doing the lettering. So one other thing that, um, I'll put, pop these back on the discs. And one other thing that we need to do is I need to put my name in here. We did not do that. So let's pop these on. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. I love it. And I mean, you don't have to decorate these pages, but for me, it's pretty. And I like the way it looks. And I think that it just makes it a little bit more fun and it doesn't feel so much like just practice and work. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just going to take my black Tombow pen here and I will put my name in. And this is why I am practicing hand lettering because I am not a professional at it. I am definitely still learning. So let's see. And then you can come back you know, in four months and see where you're at. And then in another four months and see how much you've improved, right? All right, I don't know if I like that kind of tea or if I just like the straight down tea. I'll decide as I go. But there's my first attempt. It's off center. It's not perfect, but there we have it. And what I might actually do here is I'm going to date this so that I can see my improvement as I go with the name. So today is February 11th. All right. So, as I said, click on the link that'll come up in the right in the corner up here. Go check out Judy's YouTube channel. Hi, Judy. Thanks. Um, she's phenomenal, and she's got great videos on how to practice your brush lettering, um, and just even how she does the designs and everything. It's it's fabulous. So she's put a lot of work into it. I really appreciate it. So definitely check that out. And I will also leave her Instagram linked in the description down below. And thank you guys for joining in. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Have you tried hand lettering? Are you going to participate in the challenge? Give me some feedback. I want to hear your opinions and thoughts. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.